Hello, hello. Welcome back to Divine Destiny Guide. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. Sending you the purest of love and light. Yes. God is for us. Who can be against us? We're blessed. We're safe. And we are secured. So, welcome. Please remember to like. Leave a comment. I love hearing from you. Alrighty, so if it's your first time, welcome, welcome, returning soul travelers, thank you. So we have the moon, and we know the moon, we have, well, three cards came out here. So we have the moon. So the moon is the things that's done in secret. And God is bringing revelation, uh, clarity here, revealing messages has the has the power to destroy so anybody who was doing anything in the dark towards you god is destroying that he's giving you clarity he's revealing things and he's also revealing messages god is your strength god is your strength so it's trusting your intuition he's revealing things to you and he's going to reveal some things that probably people try to do to destroy you, to take you down. Six of Swords, it's, it's about moving on to calmer water here. Perception of unity protects against accidents and heals the sick. So again, under the moon, this is a gentle God. So people could have been... Uh, Wanting you to be in accidents, wanting you to be sick, wanting you not to be in unity with others. God is here to protect you and to move you away to calmer water as well. And then we have the Ace of Cups. Wow. God, the King of Heaven, rejuvenation, obtains the mercy of God and gives a long life. So whatever was done to put an end to you, make you sick and probably pass away for you to be in accident so that you would pass away. These are probably some of the things that's been done in secret under the moon that people were doing or projecting that they thought you would not know and they thought God would not find out, but God is revealing. And for some of you, this is the, the confirmation that is brought to you right now this is a confirmation that you're getting right now and at the back it's the two of pentacles god who supports the universe god who supports the universe so god is providing for us he's providing for us so it's almost as if again when i think about the universe i think about the world it's like a, a tree here. So whatever you want, God is giving it to that tree. He's blessing somebody else so they can bless you, if you get what I'm saying. It's like he's allowing that tree to bear fruits so that you can have fruits, you can have food to eat. So he's working through the things that are here on earth, through the people here on earth to bring you support fortune and fame fulfills any requests so he's working through again remember when god wants to bless you he uses people when the devil wants to curse you he uses people so he was using the devil was using people to bring an end to whatever it is that you were working on to cause you to be sick Wanting to create accidents for you. Wanting you to not be in peace or unity with others around you. They want you to be in that juggling mentality. This hot and cold, up and down fluctuation. When it comes to your, your stability, your money. And God is here to bring peace to that. Fortune and fame. And to fulfill your requests. He's here to answer your prayer when it comes to the things that you have been juggling with, the things that were making you unstable. I love that. And here, when it comes to the moon, 
you know, now a lot of you, yeah, you have the receipts. You have the receipts. You, you are getting the answer. You're getting the confirmation now. For a lot of you, you suspect what's been going on. And now you have the proof that these are the things that were done or been done in the dark. For some of you, these people have been doing these things under the moon to affect you. And this is why God is bringing revelation Revelation about a family, a group of people that you consider family. He's moving you away from them to calmer water. These are the people who are trying to make you sick. These are the people who are trying to get you in accidents. They didn't want you to have any unity, any peace. And you think about the swords, it's the, it's, the, it's the gossip, it's the lies, it's the, the slander, the story that these people were projecting for a lot of you, were, were hoping to wound you, and they probably did. And God is moving you away from these people. It's like he's showing you with the moon there. He's giving you the receipts. He's like, yes, this is the confirmation you want. He, now here it is. Now, let's go. Let's go. These people are not your family. These people, you thought they love you, but no. Look, it says you're jealous of friends. So these people were jealous of your Ace of Cups. They were jealous of your new beginning. They were jealous of your love life, your partnership, your connection. Some of you, you're pregnant. They could have been jealous of that. Your new beginning, your self-love, even for yourself. These people were jealous of that. They didn't want you to have love in your life. They were, they were working for it to be dull, dim, and stagnant. And God is here to bring rejuvenation, to revitalize, to energize your love life again. God is here to give you mercy and also to give you long life. Because these jealous friends and families who have been working against you, so you wouldn't have love. You wouldn't even you don't even want to love yourself. For some of you, it's because you're not interested in in, in them. You're not interested in, in having any any sex with them. And this is why they turn against you. So this could even be a partner who you, you're no longer interested in, you, you turn them down, and then they try to work against you. Could be talking to a divine feminine. And guys, remember, it's an energy here. It's an energy. So yeah, so these are the things that have been, that these people were doing under the dark here. It's like for a lot of you, these people will have you questioning who are you? Who are you? It's almost like you can't believe that you you were holding these people as your family, your close friends. And it's like they would do this to you. The rejection, you're feeling left out, feeling abandoned. It's like you're left to question your identity. Like, am I really from, are we really family? Were you really my friends? You know, with the mask here, is it like, what illusion were you under? Because for a lot of you, a lot of us, when you are around people, you consider to be friends or family. You want to think that these people have your best intention at heart. And so they could have been hurting you and you keep going back. They were doing things subtle and you choose not to believe it, to turn a blind eye and a deaf ear to it. And now it's like when the skeleton is out of the closet and everything is now out in the open, it's like, yes, you're asking yourself these hard questions. You know, even being very hard on yourself. But again, I'm sure there's a lesson there to learn. You know, it's like these people had you as a clown. They have you as a laughing stock. They wanted you to be a laughing stock. They wanted you to be the butt of the joke. 
It's like I'm getting like that humiliation spell that these people that you consider family wanted for you. Wow. They don't want people to take you seriously either. A lot of these people, some of them, they could be sending you naughty pictures as well. Some of them are even taking substances too. But, you know, so they're trying to do things to distract you. You know, because maybe if you're moving on to new connections or whatever, they're sending you naughty pictures. Again, it came out. Naughty pictures. They want to distract you. These are jealous friends. They don't want you to move on to have a new beginning in love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These people are snooping through emails. I know they, they're hacking my stuff. <laughs> yeah, it says background check. So a lot of these people are doing a lot of things in the background. See all the laptops there and the phones. Yeah, they're doing a lot of things. Um, you know, creating fake profiles on social media. Isn't that something? It's like all of these background checks snooping through your mails, your mails, your emails. It's like... Even my regular mail, it's like there are people are, are I don't know, they are messing with my mails as well. Of course, I know my emails, people are going through that too. You know, it's like I renewed my license about in June. It's the first time in all these years that I have not received my license in the mail. And I'm telling you. I'm telling you, because I know the people who are this immoral, they have no integrity. These are people, I don't know, they know people in high places where they can get things duplicated and copied to look like the real deal. But if it's ever brought to my attention that anybody is using my paperwork, let me tell you, I will volunteer to take the mugshot and I will take out the kneecap. Yes, with love and light. With love and light. Because I'm telling you, a lot of these people, they have done too much. They are doing too much. They think that they have the upper hand to, to, to do what they want to do. Because you don't want anything to do with them. Because you find out what they have been doing. And you don't want any part in their life. So they are trying to see how they can turn your world upside down. But I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Try it. Try it. I'm, I'm just saying. So a lot of these people. You know. Again. They, they could. You know. Back to it. But they could want to. So if you have jealous friends. You know. They want you to see how enticing they look. Because again, people who are karmics, let's be honest, a lot of them, it's just their body that they have on showcase to use to attract people. That's it. They have nothing else. Nothing else. The lust of the flesh, that's all it is. You know, and so they're making a lot of uh, fake profiles. You know, some of them are going to be arrested too. Arrested, jail time. Could be doing GPS tracking too. There are nightlife groupies. Somebody could be pregnant. Again, these are toxic friends and family. Somebody could also have a STD as well. So yeah, these people, they are, they are no good. And they're up to no good. So you have the receipts. And so a lot of you here in the back here, it says, gratitude, give thanks. Just give thanks. Confirmation, you know, for God revealing these things that's been done in the dark. You know, give thanks for him saving you from all these accidents. For him revealing to you the truth. For him protecting your health. Rejuvenating you. Giving you love, stability. Stabilizing your, your finances, providing for you, taking care of you. Because here it says spells. So a lot of these people, they were doing spells. 
in the background here. They were doing spells. God moved you away from that. And tarot reader or specialist. So some of them, they were using other readers or spiritualists to work against you too. But guess what? You overcame. You overcame. That's all that matters. You overcame. Why? Because God showed up on time. He showed up on time and he showed up in time just for you. Now it's time to start that business. Whatever it is that you're working on, it's time to move forward. So now you have clarity as to what's been going on in the background. These people, they took you for a joke, a fool. They wanted people to laugh at you. They didn't want you to have peace, unity, harmony with other people. They wanted you to be sick, messed up, jacked up. Some of them, they could have even wanted you to be locked up. Maybe they even got you to be locked up. And some of you, it's because you rejected them. You're a divine being. You rejected probably a karmic masculine or karmic feminine. Feminine Spirit says to move in silence. Move in silence. Let go and release. Let go and release. Move in silence. Let go and release, break, release, breaking the deck in half. It says be open to change. Absolutely. It's a lot to give God thanks for here. And I'm loving this for you. I love it for us. Until next time, take care and be blessed.